good. Is that that's the redstone? Well, it's just here. Uh, many of you probably remember my cutscene generator. That was sort of what uh, my vanilla 1.9 cutscene generator spreadsheet tool, uh, which a whole bunch of map makers have been using and promoting, and that's sort of what uh, launched me on my uh, success on YouTube. Uh, if you have not seen it, a video link will be in the description, but uh, I unfortunately cannot make an update for this because it's too unreliable, but there is a bug in Minecraft that is causing some awful glitches with these, uh, with the cutscenes. And the thing is, it's so unreliable and, like, so unpredictable. I've actually spent a lot of time with, uh, Neo MC, On Nowhere, uh, and, uh, the Minecraft Avatar trying to figure out what is causing this glitch. Uh, because it's super unpredictable. Sometimes it works in one world and it doesn't work in another. But basically, the glitch that's happening is this command right here... Uh, it's supposed to be targeting both the area effect cloud and the player, this at E selector. But unfortunately, for some reason, it's only targeting the, um, the area effect cloud and not the player. Which basically causes it to do the setup loop again and again and again and again. So you constantly get your game mode set, millions of area effect clouds get spawned, uh, it's just an absolute mess. So, uh, a few things. One... If this is not happening in your world, then you don't need to worry, because it's a super unpredictable bug. We don't know what's causing it. We can't really reproduce it um, reliably either. So if this is not happening to you, then there is no need to worry. But if it does happen to you, first of all, you can stop it by doing this. By first doing squidward player set at E, or uh, at A, step negative one, and then doing kill at E type equals area effect cloud. And uh, that will stop it, because sometimes you get stuck in a loop. That'll stop it. But here's the temporary fix for it. Again, I don't know what causes it, but uh, this is sort of a band-aid fix for it. Basically, what you want to do, place a block behind here, and uh, to slash clone, then push... You want to be looking at the second block here, and do slash clone, space, press tab, space, press tab, space, press tab, enter. Then look at this block, the first one, and do space tab, space tab, space tab, enter. Then look at this block, and do space tab, space tab, space tab, replace, move. That's the important part. And then press enter. And then I'll just move those two blocks over. Then the next thing you want to do is uh, you want to make sure that... Uh, Oh, first of all, because you just did that, you now need to turn this to needs redstone, turn this to needs redstone, then turn this to always active, always active. It's important to do that so they stay in the proper order. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to go into here, copy this command, place another command block down, go into this new command block, paste it in, and all you want to do is change this at E to an A. And that's it. And uh, now it should work perfectly fine, no matter what. Again, it's, suppo it's not a command problem at all, because it's proven time and time again. It has nothing to do with the commands itself. It's solely a Minecraft bug that seems totally unpredictable, and we just cannot figure it out. But if you need a fix, there's a fix. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you all next time.